All right, uh, so we are at Tropicana now. We're kind of completing the circle here in Atlantic City where they're actually only the one of three places that are offering any poker games post COVID here right now. And uh, they don't really have too many games going, so we're gonna have to play like one, two, one, three here. But being a Tropicana brings back some memories from like a long time ago. You gotta walk through this like long walkway. It's kind of cool looking Caesar E vibe, but definitely notice like a younger crowd and stuff. So it'll be cool to play poker here and uh, just get a vibe. So good luck guys, hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so the first hand we look down at here is Pocket Kings. We are sitting in the small blind. We have a little over starting stack, and there's a raise in early position to six bucks. And to our surprise, there's actually a three bet. So uh, you just don't see many of these at one, two. So I was a little surprised, but anyway, I decided to just call here. I should have re-raised. I'm still kind of leveling myself, I feel like, in some of these spots because it would look super strong to me if somebody re-raised here, but it really shouldn't matter to me. But in this instance, I did end up calling. The flop comes ace, queen, eight. Two diamonds. I do have the king of diamonds here. I check. Early position checks to the pre-flop three better. They make it 40 bucks. And though there is an ace on the flop here, I think I still have to call at least one. There's some good turn cards for us. Any diamond, 10, jack potentially slows them down. I don't think that they're going to be double barreling properly. So we should be able to see the river, I would think. A decent bit here. And the early position player is going to fold. And then we are going to go heads up to the turn. And the turn comes a five of hearts. And then we're going to check again here. And the middle position player then goes all in for 110. And I know I'm folding. It's annoying. And maybe I should have folded flop knowing how much they had behind him. The next notable hand we have here is queen nine off suit. We are in the big blind. And there's going to be a bunch of limps here that comes in, which is pretty standard for this one two, any one two game, really. And I'm just off suit, so we'll go ahead, we'll see a flop. We decide to check, and we are multi ways to the flop. I'm first to act, and I decide I'm gonna lead out here. I do have the Queen of Hearts, I have top pair with this uh, all heart flop, nine two eight. So I'm just going to start putting chips in the middle. We bet out six bucks. One of the early position limpers decides to call. And we get a handful of turn, a handful of folds. And then we go to the turn, which is a blank three. So I feel pretty good about this. I definitely think there's a bunch of draws on the flop that are just going to be calling. So I'm going to continue to value bet my hand. I choose to bet 25 bucks here. I mean, hearts are going to call, straight draws are going to call. They do toss in the call, and the river is a four. So unless they had like ace five, ace of hearts, maybe five of hearts or something like that, I definitely still think I have the best hand. I'm going to continue value betting. We choose 50 bucks here. And our opponent thinks for a little bit, really not too long. They throw it in, and then uh, we table our hand, super confident. I'm like, I win, right? And they table nine deuce suited for two pair. I cannot beat two pair. So we're going to lose this pot here, and we're going to move on to the next one. Next hand we have here is King-9 offsuit. We are on the button. There is an under-the-gun straddle, and then there's going to be a bunch of callers to this straddle. And I got to just put this out there. Man, playing 1-2, I get a little bit bored, and I kind of get a little splashy. But here, I made it 25 on the button. I don't think this is too splashy, actually. I think when everybody's just calling the straddle, they're usually going to be pretty weak. 
So make it at 25 bucks, honestly, expecting everybody to fold and just move on to the next hand. If somebody does happen to call, we got the button. We'll just uh, take it to the streets. But to my surprise, the one like third or fourth over limper goes all in for 160 bucks. I'm like, are you actually serious, bro? And I'm just like, I don't believe this crap. Like, there's no way they have a big hand. I'm probably just flipping with a pair. And again, I was a little bored. It was one, two. This is no excuse. It's splashy, spewy, whatever word you want to use. I call and they have queens. Like how? <laughs> oh man. So thankfully I saw a two five game popping off. So we switched tables immediately to the two five game. And this is our first or second hand that we get dealt here. It's pocket eights. We're sitting in the small blind. We have 645 bucks in our stack. The under the gun player here who is wasted limps and then the middle position player raises to 31 and oh my gosh this table guys was the softest 2-5 table i've ever been at in my life you couldn't even like tell the story of how soft this 2-5 game was and have people believe you it was amazing anyway i'm in the small blind here and i call the raise to 31 which is weird right and the um flop comes 735 and we check to the initial raiser they bet 40 bucks, and the majority of the players at this table were short stacking. He doesn't have too, too much behind. I think 150 behind. So with the eights here, uh, I think they're going to be over C betting high cards. I just put them all in here. If they have it, they have it. It is what it is. It's not really that much of a dent to my stack. And he, he like looks at me, calls, and then uh, we get to showdown. I table my eights, and he folds. So I guess he had ace, king, ace, queen. Just had some overs. Maybe, maybe this player had pocket sixes, I think makes sense. But honestly, it just felt like this dude had uh, ace, king, ace, queen, and they just wanted to try to hit one of their uh, over cards. So we will take it. We will take it. We looked down here at king, four of clubs. There was a limp in early position. We made it 15 bucks in the cutoff. And the big blind, three bets to 35 bucks. The limper calls, and then it's back on us. We have position. We assume a massive edge in this game, so we're calling here. We throw in the extra 20 bucks, and we are going three ways to the flop. The flop comes 3-8-4. We hit a 4, and we have a flush draw, which is amazing. So this is awesome. We know we're not going anywhere, and uh, both of these players are shorter stacking, so this is going to be an easy uh, flop to play here. They both check to us. And we carve out a bet here of uh, 70 bucks. I believe we're going to throw out 70 bucks here. And we do bet the 70. And the intoxicated player here, which I actually kind of feel a little bit bad. This guy was like really wasted. Goes all in for 145 bucks. Uh, super easy call, like we said. And they're splashing their chips in the middle, you can see here. And they flip over nine three of diamonds so they have bottom pair they re-raise pre with this hand they had backdoor diamonds and thankfully we don't have any bad beat here we fill up on the river we pick up a nice pot this player is like oh oh well if you saw their hand gesture there and apparently this player like dumped like 2k at one two earlier so i feel a little bad but i mean you know i guess it is what it is sometimes and then now we're on the button we have ace queen offsuit. We're starting to chip up quite nicely at this table. We uh, raise it up to uh, 20 bucks here on the button. Of course, there is a limp that we're raising it over. The blinds are going to fold and then the limper in late position is going to call. Obviously, they are not folding. So that's cool. We're heads up. We're going to a flop. And the flop comes queen, deuce, three, rainbow. Now the late position limper checks to us. And we are for sure going to continue wasting bet here in the situation. Top pair, good kick. Any of their middling small pairs are going to call. This is great. So uh, we bet the $25 holla. Doesn't take too long. This player tosses in the call. And then we are going to a turn. The turn brings a two of spades. Now, while this is slightly concerning for me, because uh, this player could have anything, um, I just can't really be too concerned. 
they bet out into us for 25 bucks. I think that they would go into a trap mode if they actually had a deuce. So I think we have the best hand. This feels like a little bit of a block bet. It's small relative to the pot. So I am going to be raising this up here. We make it 75 bucks. And this player has to call 50 bucks more. And when they don't snap call or make a big move immediately, I feel good about it. But I am going to be like concerned if they do at this point find a raise. But they don't. They just call. So we are going to the river. And the river brings a 10 of clubs. And what do you know? This player decides, check, nope, not for me. They are going to lead out into us again. They block bet the river 75 bucks, which is, again, a third or a quarter of the pot here. So at this point, I just think that they are trying to get the showdown. They have a weak hand. It feels like if we just call here, it is terrible. So we have to raise. We just have to have the best hand. And you know what? If they have a deuce, congratulations, you induced me. And it just is what it is. You know, drinks on me. And it just, <laughs> whatever. So we carve out a bet. This player has maybe 300 behind. So uh, that's what we decide. We decide to put them all in. Actually, I think they might have had like 300 total after the $75 bet. It's tough to tell with the players at this table because they're not stacking their chips in like 20s. It's like 10s, 15s, 7s, whatever. But uh, yeah, they do call all in. And they table queen six of diamonds. For our top pair, they were just block betting. And yeah, we pick up a huge pot here. So I was super, super happy to uh, see the result here. And man, this was a juicy game. This was the night before the Venom, though, so we weren't going to be staying too, too long. We had a really, really nice profit. Loved the Tropicana, man. It was a long time since we've been here. And yeah, great game. Great session. Everybody, thanks for making it to the end of my video. No one does that, do they? All right, look. I respond to comments, so please leave a comment below the description and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, check out some of my last videos here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button here. All right, my name is Drew. Peace out. Catch up with you later.